What's going on, everyone? I know, I know, it's been a little while since I've posted a new video uh, about uh, my Tesla experience, but alas, here it is today. Uh, I am actually driving to the service center right now as we speak. It's 7.41 in the morning on a rainy Wednesday here in Denver, and I'm taking my Tesla in, the Black Knight, and I'm gonna get a few things serviced on it. So as I come up towards the end of my uh, warranty, I wanna make sure that I get everything taken care of that uh, needs to be taken care of. Uh, so I'm gonna have to take a look at a few things. I'm not sure if you can hear the uh, creaking in the car. Well, you probably hear my blinker, but there's this creaking happening right up here on this beam. Um, it's driving me nuts. It's driving me absolutely nuts. So I'm gonna have them hopefully tighten whatever up is, is loose so that I don't hear that creaking noise constantly as I'm driving. Uh, second thing I'm gonna have them take a look at is there's some condensation in both brake light covers. So some water or moisture is getting in there and creating condensation. Uh, hopefully that's just an easy fix, an easy swap out. Um, there's also some leaking going on when I open up the hatch and where the two uh, handles are uh, that, that if, if you had the manual uh, hatch, you'd reach and, and, and pull down to close. Um, there's, there's water coming out of those handles and I read online uh, somewhere on a, on a Tesla Facebook group that that has to do with the Chrome Tesla badge or, or I don't even know what it's called, but uh, right above the license plate, that, that seal with the earlier models is not, uh, 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 it, it's not sealed. So the water's getting in and then leaking inside and then getting into the car. It's, uh, it's a good thing to get fixed. So I'm going to go get that done. And then my front uh, my left headlight is kind of going on and off if I, if I, um, when I notice that it's out, if I go to the settings on the touch screen and I turn it back on, it comes on for a while and then it'll go off. So, uh, hopefully that's, just, I get, I guess just a headlight going bad, but I'm going to have them fix that too. And, um, the most exciting part about dropping my Tesla off today is that they're going to give me a loaner. So um, I'll make sure and include that in this uh, in, in, in today's journey to drop off the Tesla. Uh, I'm really hoping for a P100D. That would be amazing. I don't think they'll do it. Um, it seems like they try and, and give you something that's just a little bit better than what you already have or own. But still, I hope that they've given out all of their other um, uh, smaller battery size options and all they have left is a, a P100D. That would be incredible. And if, uh, if, if we're taking a request, it would be great if they had Autopilot 2.0. So more to come on that. Talk to you soon. All right. Got the loaner. It's really easy, really easy process. But, uh, one thing you'll notice is there's no panoramic sunroof feels a lot more confined in here. It's a really strange feeling. Tan, leather, of course. Uh, and this is a, a an 85 kilowatt hour battery. So no dual motor, no performance, unfortunately, but still nice and I'm still thankful. I'll tell you what, one thing that I do notice about this car <clears throat> is that the 19 inch wheels are incredibly quiet. They're so much quieter than the 21 inch wheels that I have on mine. Um, it's, in, it's insane how quiet it is. It's, it's, it, you, you really feel like you're driving an electric car. Um, and the, with the 21 inch wheels, you, you do hear the hum of the tires on the road. And just as I said in a previous video about the 19s versus the 21s, it's, it, it, I think I said this, at least I was thinking it in my head if I didn't say it. Uh, the, the, the 19s are, are, are so much quieter. It's insane. But I still feel the same about 
about the, the the look of the 21s being so much better. I think the 19s, at least these, which which I'll make sure and do a, a shot of, um, are they're they're ugly. They're they're not great looking in my opinion. Sorry if you have them, and uh, I, I'm happy if you're happy that that you like them. <laughs> but um, so much quieter. The other thing that I realize is I was wrong about the body color roof. There is plenty, probably equal headroom um, with the body color versus the panoramic sunroof. So I'm going to do another video about that one. All right, heading back to the service center to drop off the loaner. They finished up with my car, it took about a day and a half. Um, Got my daughter in the back there. Say hi, Solvay. Hi. I'm Solvay. Yeah, good job. Uh, after driving this for a day and a half, I really like the red color paint. It looks really sharp. It, it just, it pops. It really stands out. I'm not a fan of the uh, solid body color roof. Uh, it just seems a lot darker than the panoramic. I really love the, uh, the, the suspension. To be able to raise and lower that is really, really cool. Um, I think I'll get that next time. The other thing that I am pretty convinced about is the uh, performance of the larger battery. This one is an 85 kilowatt hour. Mine is a mine is a, a 60 kilowatt hour. So uh, quite a big step up and it's, it's impressive. I can't imagine what the 90 or the 100 kilowatt hour battery would be like performance wise. And even though the 19 inch tires are quieter, I don't think that I would get them uh, next time around. Uh, not as much of a fan. Uh, they, they, they don't handle as well, that's, that's for certain. Um, and the 21s are a little bit uh, louder, but um, I think the profile and the look of it, as I mentioned in the video that I did about the 19-inch the, the wheels versus the 21, um, I, th I think I'm still a fan of the 21-inch wheels. So, hope that provides some interesting insight uh, from someone who's uh, driven driven both uh, the 60 kilowatt hour and, and the uh, 85. And if you have any questions, feel free and put them in the comments. Please feel free and subscribe and click this button over here for the next video.